Tell us about him. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a great, great man. Unfortunately, he's not with us. But he was such an adventurer. I, I took a raft trip down the um, Colorado River, and the river was the highest that it had ever been, so the rapids were really enormous. And there was about 10 or 12 of us, and Tony was one. I didn't really know Tony at the time. He was one of them. And then we're sitting at a campfire, and it's, it's about, you know, it's just the sun's going down. And then we look up, and there's this sheer wall. And there's Tony climbing the wall with his hands and his bare feet just climbing up the wall. I said, this man's insane. And, uh, you know, we looked at uh, the movie he'd done with Catherine Deneuve, and he just had a the hunger. You know, the hunger had such a beautiful visual style, and he got really excited about making the movie. And he found this book. There's a photographer named Bruce Weber, who's a great photographer. He did all the Abercrombie ads. And he did this book on young men, and he said, this is what these guys are going to look like. And they had these white T-shirts, and they were all like beach kids, and they were all blonde-haired and great-looking, and that's how it all started. Were you shocked when he died? Yes. I'd been with him the day before. Oh, wow. We were, we were talking about doing another Top Gun. We were down in, uh, in, uh, in Nevada, in Fallen, Nevada, meeting with the Top Gun pilots. And it was a real shock. And that day, was he okay? Or? He seemed okay. You know, he, was, he seemed fine. And, um, and I get a call Sunday night that he passed away. Do you have a favorite film of the films you made with him? No, I think they're all they're all part of your <laughs> they're all great. And they're all part of your legacy, and they're all. Part so of when you're working with a director like that, who really knows his stuff, right? Um, we're going to come to Ridley later. And you're on the set. Do you go to the set every day? And and what do you do day to day on a film like that? Well, you're you're preparing for the next day. You you worry about the next day, the next week. Do we have everything we need? Is this, are the scenes good enough? Do we have to do some rewrites? Uh, and you know you you work with Tony and you, you give him you say I like this or I don't like that or you you never talk to the actors or, or while he's filming you know get in front of the, the camera and say do this and do that you talk to Tony so if you feel Tony's missing something you'll talk to him and he was very collaborative he always listened didn't always do what you asked him to do but he was <laughs> he was collaborative do directors ever always do what you want them to do never, never. <laughs> not the good which ones. is a good thing by the way that's why I have a good career.